Welcome to another collection video. In this video, I will show my Jethro Tull um, CD and DVD audio collection here. It's quite small when compared to other collections. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll get into it here in a second. Hang on. So, here is Cleave. We've already owned this, the DVD audio version of this box set before, before I bought this. So here is Thick as a Brick. This is the uh, Mole Fidelity Original Master Recording uh, Ultra CD, or Ultra Disc 2, I'm sorry. This is not the original back to this. A lot of times, Mole Fidelity would come up with their own uh, back card for the albums they uh, remastered and issued but this is just original album tracks here great stuff my cousin has a CD version of that we'll just get the regular CD versions out of the way and then get to the box set Jethro Tull living in the past great album I believe it's live yes recorded live at Carnegie Hall and if you didn't know anybody you would think this is a studio recording <coughs> You have the title track, um, Life's a Long Song, um, yeah, I believe this is a 1990 version, I forget when that Mobile Fidelity one came out, but I'll include the information on that in the description box of this video. Jethro Tull, Aqualung, this is the very first album I heard by the band. This is the 40th anniversary adapted edition remix and mastered by Steven Wilson. He did an excellent job here, but the very first version of this album that I heard was the 1999 CD copy, which my dad still has to this day. He also has an original um, first pressing of the album on vinyl. I have the second pressing on vinyl. I believe I bought this through Amazon. Yes, brand new. But there it is. You get your great artwork here. Um, background on the recording, recordings included, a bunch of black and white and color photos of the band circa around the time of the uh, record's release. There's, I think he's holding a platinum or gold record there, Ian Anderson. There's also a two CD version of this that does not sound quite as good. It has a little booklet inside too with great uh, quality photos and whatnot. There's a lot of information in here. So then you get the two CDs and th these are the DVDs and they're region free. So they'll work in any player, so that's good. Um, just super high quality book edition. So with this you get the um, remaster on CD then you get the remix on DVD and you can also listen to a flat transfer of the master tape of this album on the uh, on the, one of the DVDs here I forget which one I think it's yeah the audio video one the blue one um, but the flat transfer sounds the best in my opinion that's just me some people may, um, excuse me some people may like the remix more I believe they offer the same thing the same kind of audio options on the Thick as a Brick. That's another book edition. Great album. There's the back. So, yeah, you get original album remixed here. I think there's a flat transfer. Yes, a flat transfer of the original stereo mix at 96 by 24 PCM plus a radio ad. I think there's radio ads in Aqualung as well. Um, now with this is more, it's more condensed. You just get CD and DVD. So I think, I don't think there's as much audio that, uh, additional audio uh, for this album. So they just kind of made it the way they did, but you get the full newspaper 
type stuff that you got in the vinyl edition. I'm not sure if that was included with the CD edition as I don't I don't own it. I don't own an original CD copy or any of the uh, EMI remasters. I think that's where EMI. Yes. Um, let's see here. And this is all. It's it's fake, of course. And you got that. But I would say this sounds better than the MFSL Ultra Disc. I mean, it just. I think there's 50 pages here. We'll get two. Here we go. And this sounds great too. Nothing wrong with this. Um, it's a long album. I mean, it's it's one, two long continuous songs basically. It's like a concept album, I, I believe. Um, you don't really get any extras on here except for the 5.1 mix, which you also get with the Aqualung. You also get the 5.1 mix of that on that uh, book edition. Um, you see how you get the 5.1 DTS and Dolby Digital Surround Sound. The new stereo mix. Um, I would say get these. I mean, there's also one of like Heavy Horses and uh, War Sword. Um, I think all the classic Jethro Troll albums have been released in these book editions. I don't know about their debut album. Let's have actually never, excuse me, heard that. Uh... But will I get Heavy Horses in this edition? I doubt it. I mean, it's a good album. I've previewed it on <clears throat> on YouTube. There's several songs on there, I think, on the official Jethro Tull channel that I listen to. Really, really good. But who knows? Maybe I'll splurge and get it. Because um, I think they're still in print. I'm not sure if these editions are still in print. But well worth owning. Whether you can get them used or not. Um, either way, you'll... You'll be happy if you're a Toll fan or you like folk rock. So that is my Jethro Toll collection, guys. I do thank you very much for watching. Um, oh, another note. I thought about getting the gold CD of this, the DC, DCC Compact Classics gold CD, but it was like $100, so didn't get it. But So that's all, guys. Thank you very much for watching.